live now. Hello. Hello, hello, who's in the house? Let's see who is in their house. Let's give it two minutes. You already know what you're going to be talking about based from the title and the thumbnail. You are able to tell um, <clears throat> what it is. See 11 people in the house. Hi, Rosaline, how are you? Ugandan village wife, how are you? You, you, Akata, how are you? <clears throat> Light bulb moments, the story shook the hell out of me. I understand, it's just crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's sad. It's very sad. Okay, okay, I see people are coming in. Let's give it one more minute. As you're joining, let me know where you're joining me from. Hi, Kelly. Been, I just trashed, I've been eating. <laughs> Hi, Kenyan Mary. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Let me know who's in the house. Drop the link. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I sent the link to Patrick. He's responded. So either way, I'll go ahead. I informed him since yesterday he's not responded, he's not replied, because I told him if at all he's honest, he can come clean about it. So <clears throat> uh, I think yesterday he wrote a message on the platform, and um, I think which he has since edited. But so I'll go with the first message, because I just checked right now and I've seen some difference. So I'll go to the first message that Patrick left on the website which he calls it the absolute proof that I have written. And um, I hope everybody has an idea of where this is coming from. I don't know if I should just give a short, short, um, I don't know, short intro to this. So as you all know, I created Land Kiswahili course. <clears throat> and initially, if you'd been on my platform for long, I always talked about offering Kiswahili classes on Patreon. And of course, I, I, I started offering them until um, Patrick joined as a student. After joining, he approached and said, oh, we can discuss on how we can, uh, uh, he, he just, you know, he was very tactful. <laughs> he joined and then uh, get, was saying that, oh, can we also do it like this? I was like, okay, give me, an, uh, what, what do you want us to do? I was like, okay, if you wanna do it as a joint partnership, that's okay. If you're going to build the course as a joint partnership, that's okay. <clears throat> but if you want to know how they started, you can just check the previous video, the previous video I did about him. But let me know in the comment section if everybody understands the background of this and why I'm doing this, because I already did a 21 minute video explaining all this. So I can just proceed to counter the lies in his response. He's, he did a, a response on the website. so. If you understand where this is coming from, let me know. In the meantime, let me just share out this video. <clears throat> I'm a little under the weather, so I'm not feeling very well, but I didn't want this kind of energy, especially this year when I was talking that I need to focus on positivity, telling the positive stories and <clears throat> especially when I'm um, traveling, I just wanted to focus on creating the travel content as opposed to this. Okay, okay. No worries, I got scammed for, for two months. It happens. This is just beyond $300 though, but it's nobody should ever scam. So Patrick wrote, I don't know, he said this response, and he shamelessly, shamelessly, he starts by writing and stating the absolute proof. So he has a document shamelessly. After stealing from me, 
he shamelessly starts by advertising, I don't know, a book is written. Who would ever, ever buy a book from a scammer? So he's riding on it. So he's riding on it to sell a book. Who's going to buy a book from a scammer? So he's advertising him on how he's, uh, <clears throat> how, how he's uh, you know, he's written a book. Anyway, so I'll read through it. I'll read through what he wrote. He says, this document ex um, exposes the lies perpetrated against my person and my company. Please take time to read it as I attempt to expose the lies one by one. Thank you for taking time to learn here. Following the online abuse by Marceline, you can't even write my name. You should put some respect on my name. You should spell my name correctly. Uh, AKA the African Tigress and her minion Phil Scott of the Africa Diaspora News Channel. Please let this be read by any other minions who have chose to follow suit. So he says, this site is an intellectual property of Kaira LTD, that is his company. The domain name is the property of the owner and this site and all that's contained within. However, an executive decision has been made to cease trading on this site under the domain, under, under domain. First, he's edited to put the site to be his property on 13th March, 2021, first, Patrick did not know anything about Kiswahili. Now, he didn't. He actually wanted us to create the site as africantigress.com, but I told him no, because for africantigress.com, I want to do something different. I'm just so glad he didn't take that, because I, I don't know how it would be, because he would now be owning my platform. I have evidence to that. I don't know how I can share that, but no, let me open our WhatsApp chat. I think it's, yeah, because I have it where, he, where we were deliberating and I told him I don't want to use African Tigress or MarcelineMasanya.com. And I told him I want to use, let's use Lan Kiswahili. And he kept forcing me. I told him, no, we're not going to use African Tigress.com at all. So I told, eventually I ended up convincing him. And I told him, because we want to open up the course to other people so that other people can also, those ones who don't know African Tigress can still, if they want to learn Swahili, they are able to see it. Or is it okay? I'm going to share the screen uh, in a few. I'm going to share the screen to show evidence or proof that actually LearnKiswahili.com was me. It was never Patrick's. It was never. He wanted us to use my name.com, but I told him no. So I'll continue. I'll continue. Um, it's loading slowly. I hope my internet is okay, and I hope what I'll be sharing on screen will be visible to you because um, uh -huh. because where I am, the internet is not is not really the best. Who is that? So he's now claiming the website. He's claiming that they contracted me to work for him first. If Patrick is listening, he's probably listening because I sent him a link to watch this video to join the live stream to defend himself. He's of course he can't, he can't because he knows he's guilty, but he's trying to use the website to defend himself and trying to put himself to look as if he's the one who is being, you know, who is being falsely accused when he knows the scammer that he is. So if Patrick, I know you are watching this or you'll watch this, but I highly think that you are watching this. You know very well that you are lying. You are lying. African tag, uh, African uh, landkiswahili.com was my idea. It was never yours, and you never contracted me to work for you. In fact, you never told say that I was going to create the course for you for your platform. Mm -hmm. That was not that was not the agreement. If that was the case, why would I even bother? I would continue creating my course on Patreon. I would have continued creating my course on Patreon, or there are lots of other platforms that already have ready clients that I would have created my course and sold it there. But me creating a course on your platform and marketing your platform that didn't have, if, if, if at all Lanky Swahili was yours, that didn't have any people, why would I create a course and market it on a plat on your and put it on your platform and then market it? That was never the agreement. That was never the agreement, Patrick. It was never the agreement anywhere. If 
I cannot create a course for somebody to sell on their platform and make 60%, I make 40%. I don't have that time. The only reason I participated in making this, it's because it was a partnership, joint ownership of landkiswahili.com. It was not it was not supposed to be like uh it was not supposed to be me working for you i don't work okay the truth is i don't work for people i've never even been employed to start with i've never been employed i work for myself i've always worked for myself so if that if, if i told you had presented that and told me that was the way we were going to do it trust me i would never bother creating the course i wouldn't why i cannot work for you so anyway, here is the, um, let me try and share the screen so that you can see. Okay, the, it's loading slowly, but once I get it, so I'll continue, but I'm going to definitely share as it's loading. I'm going to share the con the conversation, the WhatsApp chat between me and him, whereby we ha we agreed that he was going to, it was going to be a, a partnership and Lan Kiswahili was actually mine. So. He's now calling land Kiswahili's intellectual property. So, so he he continues. With, in, he says, given the mean skill amount of money contested, it's not worth our time and effort to enter into any protected legal action. Our research shows that she has been misguided, and in time we hope. Sorry about that. The internet is acting up. So sorry about that. I don't have like the perfect internet here. So just bear with me and I hope you are still there. I'm back. I hope I'm back to your screens. It just went off on me. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, let me know. If you can hear me, let me know. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so Patrick goes ahead and says, uh, given the mean skill amount of money contested, it is not worth our time and effort to enter into any protected legal action. Our research shows that she has been misguided, and in time we hope that she sees the error in her judgment. Misguided by who? By who? Misguided by who? How can I be misguided? I mean, I work for these, misguided by who? If it was about misguided, since you claim that I called you immediately after the launch, so immediately the launch ended, I called you. So who misguided me immediately after the launch? Because the moment we cut... Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the moment we cut, the, the moment we finished, the Kiswahili course. I called you and asked you, what have you done? And then that's when you are, that's when, okay, sorry, let me just focus on explaining then I'll read your questions and comments. Okay, so I'll continue. So the moment you finish the launch, I called him and told him, no, this is not what you had agreed on. This is not what we had agreed on. Okay, so he continues to say, we wish Marceline well and we'll make all recording accessible to her, relinquish all copyrights to the material and help her find a new hosting platform. Where is it? He's not, he's not released any, he's not released any material to me. I don't have access to any of the material. Uh, <laughs> like he's just writing it for the people to read it, but in, he's not done anything. He says, we, we wish her well and we'll make all recording accessible to her, relinquish all copyright to the material and help her find a new hosting platform. He's not released anything to me. It doesn't make sense. He's just saying we wish her and he's written it on the site. He should do it immediately, even before he's writing his uh, response, he should have already released the material to me. He continues, he continues and says, the reason is we do not want to subject our client users and patrons to uncertainties following libellous claims made by Marceline and Phil Scott. Okay, that's what he says. Then he goes to the history, which I think he's trying to explain on how we met. He says, Kaira and Marceline uh, entered into a joint venture agreement to develop learning course as the site's name depicts. 
However, since the agreement's termination, Masanya has been sprouting misleading information about her relationship with Kaira and her claim to this domain. Okay, talk, when you get to that, when, you, when he says, I'm claiming to the domain, uh, just a second, I'm, I'm trying, it's loading, my internet is having issues, but I'm going to, to show you clearly that uh, the domain name was my idea. It's just taking a little longer, but I know we're going to get it. Let me just, actually, I'm almost there. He says that, <laughs> he can, can he state the terms of the agreement? He says that I, that they were building the site for me, but they, they own the site and they own the material. That's what he's trying to insinuate. But he cannot, he says there was an agreement to that, but he cannot provide the agreement. He says he signed the agreement. He cannot provide the agreement to the terms. Uh, goodness, why, am I, why is it taking so long for me to get this? Lankiswahili.com. He has acquired, he has exploited your hard work and wasted your time, too much time. He wasted a lot of my time. If I knew this this was how it was going to end, the, the time I sacrificed, the sleepless night, working every day, what, the moment I woke up to the evening, I was working up to 8 p.m., 9 p.m., working with him, editing and doing all that. There's even a time, I, I even have a message here. There's a time I told him, I'm actually going to do a video where I'll tag these screenshots. There's even a time I told him, you are going uh, you are going beyond this. I was not supposed to do this. You are overworking me. You are, you are overwhelming me because this was not part of the argument. And then it's like easy and all that. Oh, goodness. This thing is taking too long. Mm. Okay, here. Yeah, I got it. Let me share the screen. Uh, screen share from tab okay i hope you all can see the screen i don't know how to expand let me try and see if i can be able to expand the font if i'm able to expand the fonts maybe you'll, you'll be able to see Okay, I hope this is visible to everybody. I don't know if that chat is. I don't know if that chat is visible. Are you able to see the the chat there, on the screen? Uh, uh, you saying I should just move on? It was a sad. Day. No, I cannot move on, because I cannot allow anyone to use my material and make money my face my everything the recording when you are recording my face and everything was in it so i cannot allow anyone to use my material and to continue using my material to make money but on this screenshot if it's not clear i'll definitely do a clearer video and i'll attach this one uh here he says in this screenshot he says he asked me what's your last name he asked me what's your last name i tell him asanya he's like i'm thinking the process through what type of product do you think we'll be adding to the shop because initially he wanted to create a website for african tigress he wanted it to call it african tigress and then i told him no african tigress i have a plan of creating a shop for african tigress i want to sell product african products and i also want to offer other services if the on a platform known as african tigress I told him it's important it would be better we create an independent website call it lankiswahili.com so that i can be able to still have so i can be able to still have you know my name and use it for what i want then lankiswahili can be an open platform so here he says he's asking me what do else do i want us to add so he's like this is what i'm suggesting this is patrick saying this is what i'm suggesting build the site using masilinmasanya.com aka african tigress he says he can't get masilin so for those who don't know my first name is masilin so he says i can't get masilin.com but also get africantigress.com and we we'll link to the same place the product will be kiswahili 101 and we'll also have uh, it on promo as a url as kiswahili 101 hope it makes sense we had at this point you had already talked a lot of times on phone and i was like no I told him I don't want to use Marceline Masanya. I wrote at gmail.com, but I meant .com. I, I tell here, .com. 
Okay, he is asking me for some photos. He was telling me to take some photos for the website. I think you, if you've been to the website uh, before all this, you probably saw my photos were the ones that were used to brand and show the website. So it's like, so what do you suggest? Um, yeah, I'm asking him about the photo because there are two conversations going, two conversations going on at the same time. It's like, uh, send me the pictures. I will go to the studio, take them. This one is a conversation on the. It's like the email address will be xxxx at masilinmasanya.com. I am thinking about branding. Maybe you could use www.masilinxx.com. Think of, think of, think of some to replace, something to replace, sleep on it. I'll throw some suggestion in, but in, but we agreed on Masilin. Have we agreed on Masilin? He's asking me if you have agreed on Masilin. Uh, I don't know place.com i don't know I, I told him not so many people know Marceline, but many people know african tigress i told him he says he says we will use african tigress thinking out of the box beyond the current audience we will use www.africantigress.com this will go to the same place but i will build on this name it limits your reach i told i told him or oh, we create one that doesn't have either names i told him we create a website that doesn't either have any of my names or any of my identities that people know me with then he's like then this negates the branding around you as it will create a story this he says then this negates branding around you as we create a story has to be about you trust me on this direction so you can see the direction he was requesting what he wanted us to do was to build it around me because it was a partnership and he was supposed to be like the shadow partner and i'm the one running it so he wanted it to be branded on me uh he's online yes he is he's online i see he's online you can see from that screenshot you can see he's online uh then I told, okay, that he sent me out my photo. I said, it's like, okay, he called me, we talked. I told him, hello, can you reserve these two? If you look very well on this screenshot, I'm the one who told him what we had talked. And I told him to reserve learnkiswahili.com or something. The, the first suggestion I told him would, would be probably pamojaminele.com or learnkiswahili. And then he sent me these. And of course, the domain name at Namecheap is, if you bought domains, you know they are cheap. So he bought the domain name and I told him to reserve landkiswahili.com. But here he is claiming that it was his property, it was his idea. So he's trying to make it look like I was working for him. I was creating the site, like, I don't know, like he was contracting me to be a teacher to create on his platform. Yet this was clearly my idea. Um, okay, so I'll continue with the... I'd reach to the I'd reach at the where he says, uh, I will repeat why I showed you that. He said Kaira and Masilin Masanya entered into a joint venture agreement to develop an online learning course as the site name depicts. However, since the agreement's termination, Masanya has been spouting misleading information about her relationship with Kaira and claim to this domain. I mean, I've already given, I've shown you the ad, I've already shown you the evidence. That was my idea. It was not his idea, but now he wants to claim that it was the idea of his company. Uh, okay. He say he continues. He says, Kayira Limited agreed to put up a hundred percent of the financing costs to bring the product to the market. This included, but not limited to, exclusive finance the development of the site and the associated components to allow the site function as cost as cost delivery platform he's lying he didn't put up a hundred percent of the financing costs if he says that was the agreement can he provide the agreement he said we send an agreement claiming that we were going that he was going to 100 percent finance the cost can he provide the agreement he doesn't have any agreement to that. And he didn't finance the course development 100%. We didn't, the recording platforms, <laughs> the recording platform that we used, StreamYard, was mine. If you're using StreamYard like I use, you can see it's not a free to use platform. If you're using the free to use platform, 
if you are using the free to use platform it will have the logo because we didn't want that the platform we used the platform we used to build this course was mine so how is it that he financed it a hundred percent i'm the one who created the material i'm the one who taught editing so what financing does he talk buying a website at uh, about five dollars that's what he says he financed the platform hundred percent and when he says that a hundred percent when we decide when when i called him immediately after the launch i told him he, say, he claimed that he's been financing him I to, uh, he's financing it i told him the best way to do this bring on the table the finances that you have used and i also bring on the table the finances that i've used and the time my time let's also quantitate my time to finances because i spent a lot of my time creating everything because he can't basically do anything and he made a lot of errors which he claims that he has corrected and he has not and we will get to that point so i told him bring the money you've spent on table i'll bring the money that i've spent on table and once we we, we, we have everything on the table the best way to go through this is Take forty percent. I take forty percent. The other twenty percent will go to the financial expenses that was spent building this course, and it will also go to future development of this course. So it doesn't make sense that he says that he built the course and he spent hundred percent. He financed the course hundred percent. He used my streamyard. I gave him my logins and password to use it to record. So there's absolutely no way he's going to claim that he financed the course hundred percent. He continued to say. Uh, Kaira Limited would produce all the campaign material, email marketing plat platform, the webinar platform. We used StreamYard. We didn't use his platform to record. We used StreamYard. Um, uh, we used StreamYard. So when he says the platform, he didn't. It was not his platform. The merchant payment facilities and other components required to bring the product to the market. In effect, Kaira would finance the risk involved. He doesn't have any, there's nothing to prove that he did that. And he did not do that. He's just writing it. When I read his write-up, what he's done, he's cleverly tried to make it look like he did everything. And I didn't do anything, which is a lie. Anyway, <clears throat> the product was to be created by the owner, Kaira Limited, Patrick, and Marceline with assistance from others. We created, we created the course jointly, but it was not going to be owned by Kaira as he is claiming. So he goes to another paragraph he's written, bringing the product to the market. He says, there was no issue with the agreed joint venture until immediately after the launch and the first sales were made. We had agreed, I know, I know the mistake I did here was to trust people, like, you know, trust without necessarily signing solid terms and all that. I take that, you know, I take that was a mistake because maybe I trust too much, which was a mistake and a lesson for me. I've learned I cannot trust people simply because someone looks like me or seems to support or acts as if they are supporting me. So some people will act as if they're supporting you. They are all for the things you are for, but they are like they are like scavengers sorry i hope i'm visible there was buffer it's buffered there i hope it's still there yeah so uh uh he, he was approaching as if he's trying to support and all that and i think that's the mistake i made and also because he had joined as a student as someone uh as someone whom i had you know someone would also come to learn the course and then he was with, he, he came and oh can we do this and all that so i i i, I made a mistake there by trusting someone sounds like uh someone I, let me just read some few comments before i continue someone says you must do things legally so the courts will rule by law i know but right now the, the case is actually in court we are actually working uh, we already sent him letters to the lawyers and all that so yeah the court is 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 taking that um yes you guys understand uh okay so let me continue he says 
for the uninitiated, a joint venture means both parties to agreement would promote the product through their given channels. The party who agrees to the joint venture would receive immediate payment from the party hosting in order to have sufficient funds in their account as the merchant payment collection can take several days to release the funds to the party hosting in the joint venture, in this case, Kaira. In fact, talking about the payment and all that, the first time he was suggesting that all the money goes to him and then he sends it to me. That was his first suggestion. So he said, he said his first suggestion, which I had opposed, I mean, like I should have read the signs, but it's okay. I made a mistake. I admit I made a mistake. He wanted us to first, when the money comes, we deduct UK tax, because UK would tax him. He wanted us to deduct UK tax and then split the money equally. I told him it doesn't make sense for me to pay tax to the UK government because I don't benefit anything from the UK government. Besides myself, I also have taxes to pay. So let's split the money equally. I'll pay my government taxes. You pay your government taxes. What's the point of me paying taxes to the UK government, which I don't benefit anything at all from the UK, not the services. So that was the first and then that's when he came with this. So when he came up with this, he only sent me a link. I didn't know the details. So uh, do you have any witnesses in your transactions with uh, this man? I have all messages from the point we met. I have all messages. I even have some recordings. So I do have all that. I'll make another video to show from the point, the first point of contact we had, how he approached me. I have all that. And I'm going to make another video to share all those screenshots and all that, all our interactions and all our emails. So when he, said, when, when he was talking about this, because his first his, his first suggestion was for me to pay tax, to pay tax, we will pay the money from the money we made, we pay tax to the UK government and then he will divide that and then I refused that. That's when he brought this thing and he didn't have terms, he didn't have anything because he was the one to, to build the website so and they were used to send me links oh you need to do this you need to do this and you know links including a spreadsheet and things like that so when he sent me this i asked him what is it what is it he says like um he said like oh it's just part of the part of the process that you need to launch he never said it's a contract he didn't have any terms he didn't have anything he just sent me something with a link and it was to again because we had, cre we had created he was only sending me these links click on this click on this we need to do this we need to do this it's like you know he was rushing me and i think that's one that one should have actually been something i should have noted when someone is rushing you to you know check on this click on this click on this you should actually know that this person is actually trying to scam you uh who is in charge of the funds and the student protections the funds i think currently he closed the course the one-on-one course is closed nobody can sign up and he used the one-on-one course that i created the last he added two or two uh, he added two or two so he's redirecting to students to two or two so that he makes the money he, he gets to make money from the other course because after all, African Tigress has done the work, he's marketed for him, he's got students, and those students who are in waiting have all been redirected to learn Kiswahili 202, which is another scam. And uh, so I'm not, I don't have access to the website. Someone is asking, I don't have access to the website. <clears throat> uh, someone says, a brother chopped a sister's head, uh, head off for money in the Gambia. I mean, <laughs> uh, who is in charge of the student's protection. He's acting as if he's the one protecting the students. That's what he's acting, because he has control over the site. So he's the one who's saying that he's, he'll continue servicing the students and all that. So um, I'll continue I'll continue reading and then I'll explain further. He says, the system is completely transparent and both parties have real-time access to every transaction and the commission splits. No, the system is not transparent. I don't have access to the students to see how they are progressing with the course and he says as you see the party hosting is at is in a risk position should there be any refunds okay uh, the fact that Kaira limited was demonstrating a marketing process new to masanya it's worth nothing that pat hadley is a certified digital marketing specialist with 40 years of business experience he probably i think the best way to term that he's 
a certified digital con scam so he's trying to say he has 40 years experience digital marketing and all that so what has he done that you can see he's done apart from scamming i mean i think it's really if i was him honestly i'd be embarrassed but i think some people don't have uh i think some people don't have the i don't know it's the humanity the shame or the morality because it's embarrassing that at 62 years i don't know 62 or 63 years you are still scamming people your daughter's age you're scamming people your daughter's age on the web are you not even ashamed or embarrassed like it's i don't know but i hope i'll not grow old to be stupid like that anyway he continues to say directly after the close of the webinar i received a call from masanya claiming to uh, from masanya expecting to be congratulated for a job well done but to my surprise it was a demand for an enormous split of cell funds sales funds and wanting to change the terms previously agreed how is asking for equal share which was what we had agreed on how is it asking for enormous split who is greedy here he's greedy you can clearly see he's greedy like i was only saying we need to take 40 40 percent and then 20 percent we put it on further development of the course because he was claiming that he had spent so much money it doesn't make sense you know how is asking for equal and enormous so that's what he written i was asking for i was making an enormous split of cells it doesn't make sense at all okay someone says digital marketing isn't 40 years old so you can see tonya this this person is a scam uh email me patrick's details i'll get the boys together and see if we can have a word with him <laughs> that would be good um mm, uh okay are there laws pertaining to people being scammed or there an agency you can report i'm working on something i'm working on something so i'm working on something i'm seeking so i'm seeking legal advice both in uganda where he's organizing some scam tours with his tour his kajira tours and i don't know some investment housing and things like that so i'm seeking some legal advice because i know he's he he has some investments in you he's trying to get some investment scamming his way through you know he gives me this i remember the conversations we used to have he gives me this person whom he didn't do much when he was maybe younger and now he feels to do whatever it takes to make money to buy because he was talking about he wants to buy a house in uganda so he feels whatever whatever it takes he needs to really make that money greedily so he keeps on claiming that he has 40 years experience and nobody can afford to hire him for someone who has 40 years experience and nobody can afford to hire him you'd not be scamming you'd not be going this low you can't go this low if you have if nobody can have cannot have, no one can afford to hire you you must be like really good in that and i mean clearly that's not it the course has errors and you are trying to push us to launch it and i told you we hold on anyway uh, the scammer is reaching out to the students who signed up for the kiswahili course to offer other investment trips and uh yes that's uh as anointed prayers is saying he's reaching out to other students and in fact there's someone who called me that this patrick patrick has his contact and patrick has been pressuring him to sign up i don't know for a trip to where patrick has been pressurizing the person to sign up for a trip can you believe that he's been pressuring the person is like oh patrick is telling me about this trip and he's trying to push me he's like pressuring me to sign up for the trip I told him I don't know. So he's actually using the platform to tell you that we are offering uh, uh, investment, I don't know, in Uganda. I don't know where. He's probably going to take your money and buy the money, the house that he's really desiring because he talked about wanting to have a house in Uganda. So he's probably going to take your money and go and, you know, finance his project. And then he'll say that. Um, 
the idea of creating a platform which is highly education is beneficial to the diaspora as well as others in the motherland yes yeah nobody 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 can prosper coming people that's true so i'll continue saying uh if you go to the site it's written all this explanation but that's what i'm trying to but he keeps editing it uh, it was pointed out that these new demands uh were unreasonable given that Kayira limited has the following and going expenditure as any business owner knows it costs to run a business ongoing financial commitments of maintaining the site and its associated application i told him i told him the best thing to do for the site let's put 20 percent of the money that we make to build the site and to pay for other things and then we can take the 40 40. Uh, he said ongoing paid advertising strategies he's not paid me for for advertising that course most people who signed up for the course most people signed up for the course signed up because of me in fact if you don't know during the day of launch he insisted on having two launch so the first launch we did in the morning he mobilized people we made zero cells no cell we made no cell nobody signed up for the course when he mobilized people because I told him it was not, we can't do that. Then I mobilized people in the evening and we had people sign up. When he did it, we had nothing. So when he says uh, marketing and all that, he's not even paid me for anything if you if at all he claims the site is is. He's continuing to say additional resources to produce marketing material, maintenance support. All this requires business planning time and resources. Uh, he continues. It was not, it was pointed out that Kaira is in business of building business not hobbies how can a business grow without defense strategy of customer acquisition that's repeatable and measurable uh business owners will understand what i'm talking about uh he goes he's extremely condescending he says let's continue marceline masanya became intransigent in her position if you have children you know what i mean this person is very condescending yet i don't even know Patrick is very condescending, but yet he doesn't get anything. Even when building the course, he was like, he was the one who made us take longer because he doesn't grasp things. He doesn't grasp, he's so, even if you read the course, you can see the struggle and the strength. He doesn't grasp anything. He gave me a hard, a very hard time. Even in editing the course, sometimes I would be like, I told you write this, not this. And he keeps making the same mistake over and over and over again. And this course took unnecessarily longer. But this is the same person who wants to be condescending. Anyway. Uh, she would not shift from her position and refuse to carry out the further tasks to complete the course development and deliver value to the students. I told him I'm not going to continue building on the course if I'm not, we're not going to agree on the terms. I called him and he didn't want to talk to me. I told him, call me, we talk and we'll need to continue uh, correcting the course and building on the course. So he ignored and never talked to me. He says, we bent over backwards to try and find a resolution. However, in the end, it became impossible. It was decided that Kayira could no longer work with her, given the, her infantile understanding of how to, how to build a, a sustainable business. We note that she's now claiming uh, the domain based on the fact that she has superior SEO knowledge to a company whose owner is a certified digital marketing specialist with dozens uh, of clients over years, which is a lie. I've already shown you. Uh, I've already shown you on the screenshot on our WhatsApp conversation. I've already shown you this SEO, the suggestion, the domain was my idea. It was not his. I have a message screenshot, and I'm going to, of course, like I said, create a video to say that. He says, I leave you the reader to decide which version is more credible. He says, tip, check the registration of this site and the date of registering African Tigress site. You'll see she followed our advice to secure her domain name shortly after. The reason I secured African Tigress name, it's because he had hinted on using it. And because I don't want any, I didn't want anyone to use africantigress.com. I didn't want him to, I didn't want him to, how is it called? I didn't want him to buy my name. I didn't want him to buy my domain africantigress.com and use it to scam more people 
who probably run other businesses because I think he's this kind of people. If he gets domain names, he feels like he's acquired gold and he can do whatever he wants. So that's the reason AfricanTechJust.com is registered later. I bought it myself and he had bought Lanky Swahili because he had hinted on using AfricanTechJust.com for Lanky Swahili. So I just decided to buy African Tech Dress immediately thereafter. <clears throat> he says, statement of fact. Kaira Limited will never relinquish the intellectual, pro intellectual property rights to this domain and will continue to maintain the site to allow access and uninterrupted use for the cost the subscribers to make full use of the products they have purchased. Okay, in this one, he says the domain. Now he's claiming ownership, to, um, he's claiming ownership of the domain. Uh, he claimed on he's claiming ownership of the domain. And he said he'll give me the material. He's not, but even the domain, I'm still following. He cannot use that mod domain. Uh, Patrick is yet to respond. I even sent him an, a message. I've sent him, he has the link. He's has come, so do you expect has come to call in? He has it and he's online. It's not like he's offline. Uh, your YouTube friends need to denounce him uh, on their broadcast. Uh, Pastor Jeremiah of Noru Foundation in Mombasa never received a website from this guy. Actually, yeah, that's the I I, I saw it and uh, I also saw it on field. This guy also scammed an orphanage in Mombasa. He always comes and acts as if he's you know. He always comes and acts as if he's helping. So as you can see, Kellen is saying he promised this foundation orphanage in Mombasa a website. He's never delivered, and he bought the domain name. He has the domain name. What kind of human being are you when you are scamming orphans or taking advantage of orphans? What kind of human being are you? You're the most horrible, disgusting being ever in the universe. Um, that's that's really sad. That's really sad. That's really sad. Okay, he says one. A uh, point to note. I'll continue. He says. Our commitment to the subscribers went as far as to seek another Swahili teacher at Kaira's course compensation of the uncompleted delivery of items that the uh, to the students that uh, Masanya refused to carry out. The engagement led to a newly formed relationship with someone who has a mature understanding of the business. That's not true. I asked the other teacher that he says he's paid because I checked the course. The errors are still there. And the reason he talks about the incomplete, no, I did the work to completion. Is the one who forced the launch to be early. And I wanted us to immediately, immediately after the launch, I wanted us to correct the errors, but he was adamant. For him, he wants to make money. He was the one who was telling me that, oh, you know, these students cannot. I even have screenshots. I think if you watch the other video, you can see the screenshots. I'm telling him, we are not going, we are pushing out our course with errors. He's like, these students don't speak to Swahili, they will not understand. So if if they don't get the language, that's misleading. I told him that's going to be misleading to the students. It's not good. I have screenshots and evidence, and you can see. He's saying, and they're just only paying $140 because that was the price we are offering at the launch for a lifetime. Think, he's like, think about it. You see, that's how he's coming. He wants to take people advantage of people because they don't understand Kiswahili. And I was trying. I have messages and evidence to this. I have ev messages and evidence, you know, to this where he's claiming that they will not know that you can just continue, they will not know, the students will not understand or will not know it's an error. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. It's very misleading to lie to people, sell them a product, or push out a product, because if he says he, he hired a new teacher, I asked the new teacher, the new teacher does not know about my course. She does not know even how my course looks like. So he's trying to say that uh, she had the new teacher that she, he, he hired, the new teacher is, um, uh, how is it called? The new teacher is offering co he created corrections of the, on the course. No, he she did not. She does not even know how the course looks like. I talked to the new teacher. Mm. Uh, I'll continue. Uh, I'll continue. He says discussion to to the cancel culture. I now bring to your attention the defamatory claims made by Marceline and Herminium on the Africa Diaspora News channel, a YouTube channel, a YouTube domain tenanted by Phil Scott. These are images I'll decline to fully produce. 
to produce here as it demonstrates the uh, the depth of depravity of Masanya and Scott and the misuse of their tenanted Google YouTube platform to slander others without the right of reply. Nobody denied him the right of reply. My lawyer wrote to him. He ignored. So when he's talking about right of reply, what right reply was he waiting for? He ignored my lawyer's letter. He received it. I sent it through all his emails. I sent him through WhatsApp and it has the two blue ticks. He received it. So what right of reply? That's, why does he say that we are slandering his name without right of reply? Uh, they have my money. Is it possible to retrieve it? Yes, Tamara, request. Just go on the site. Request him to give him back to give you back your money. Feel free to go to the site and request him to give you back your money. Uh, uh, okay. He says, at, this is the edge of cancel culture. We individuals are at home living their lives through others' eyes, following the so-called influencers who request fans to furnish their own lifestyle without providing any real content that can empower you to create your own lifestyle. I know very well as Masanya perpetuates her untruthful claims, I choose to offer her my year's business experience to help uplift her and enable her grow uh, to grow a while so this in short what he's trying to say here is that i'm requesting for fans while my content is not empowered why would you even partner if at all my content was not empowering why would you partner with someone who's not giving content that is empowering my content was adding value that's why you that's why you decided that's why you decided to That's why you decided to partner with me because you knew my content is empowering. You say you know me very well. How do you know me very well, Patrick? Tell us how you're trying to empower my life. You're 63, you're fighting and stealing courses. I'm not even half your age. So how am I? How am I? How am I? How, how, how am I? Uh, how am I? I didn't ask. I've never asked you for money. You joined. You can't say my content doesn't add value. And you are you are partnering with me. In fact, you told me even your daughter admires my work. So how is my content not ad adding value? You told me your daughter loves my work. I have screenshots and messages to even show that. So right now, because I've called you out, now you want to say my content doesn't add value or anything. That's very interesting, you know. Uh, you chose to offer her years of uh, experience to help uplift her and, and enable her grow. You, you've not uplifted yourself yet. How can you uplift me? How can you uplift me when you've not uplifted yourself? I know you're watching this because I saw you are online. You saw the link I sent you. How can you uplift me when you've not uplifted yourself? So stop with the lies. You don't know me. How much have you given me to uplift my life? Does it make sense, Patrick? I know you're watching this. Uplift your life first before you're 60 something. Not I'm not even half your age. Uh, someone is asking, is the guy Kenyan? No, he's not. He's Jamaican. Uh, he's of Jamaican origin with British uh British um citizenship. Uh he says. I guess I must be out of my depth to cancel this generation who can only retain just a bit size of information before running to the next clickbait fix. Patrick, 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 are you not the one who was telling me how you were imprisoned in the US? I actually need to find out why you were imprisoned in the US. You mentioned it at a certain point, so you cannot just come here trying to, you know. Let me not even just go to that yet. Maybe you should tell us why you are imprisoned in the U.S. There has to be a reason. You can't be just be put in, a, in jail like that. You probably did the same thing. Uh, Ellie, I can't see your comment. Uh, see my comment. I can't see your comment. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so let me continue. He says, in closing, however, I believe enough has been said on this matter following Masanya's recent uh, online display and her dramatic seeking for sympathy in her delusional belief of having been duped by Pat Headley. Kaira Limited feel vindicated in her in their actions to seize all further relationship under any circumstances. This point was relayed and sparked uh, frenzied actions. Kaira, Kaira Limited have always conducted business in a highly ethical manner and will continue to do so. It should be noted that the owner has over 40 years experience. He has to put all that all the time. He has to put that all the time. 40 years experience, he'll have to put it all the time. Uh, in this time, and all this time, he has never been a single claim of lack of integrity. Just because people don't have a place or they don't have a platform and you mess with the wrong person this time round who can speak, there could be people whom you've scammed just that they don't know or they don't have a place to report or deal with your scamming behavior. Uh, this is not a joyous moment for me. Anyone who knows me, knows uh knows my love for my people what i like and and the continent and i have traveled extensively across the continent establishing this however i do not understand uh that we have a, i do understand that we have a long way to go in terms of trust yes nobody can trust you because you've scammed me and you don't love your people you can't say you love your people and you scam them you can't say you love your people and you scam them you scammed me you can't scam people and say you, 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 anyone who knows, you know, anyone who knows you. And I think a lot of people agree that you are a scammer. Uh, uh, if you're going to court, I'm not sure it's wise to show all your evidence. I remember that's why in the first video I did, I didn't put up all the evidence. I didn't put up all the evidence uh the home girl girl here we believe you african tigress thank you the home girl healer has been one person who's been you know who's been promoting learn kiswahili a lot of times uh for so long even when we are having these issues i didn't even want to tell her I, I just removed the links uh from my channel of promoting the cause to keep making uh patrick stealing money i removed all the links from my site anyway let me continue he says a lesson learned. He says, the fact is that regardless, I'll strive to remain positive and maintain a positive belief. You can't do the right thing with the wrong people and never, and you never stop learning. I'm deeply disappointed by the actions of both, and I will encourage subscriber and sponsor to rethink their relationship and do not condone their deplorable actions. And he, he goes to put some screenshots. Let me actually get the site and uh, the screenshots he's saying he's put uh let me just get it and then okay here we are so um, where is it here okay let me share screen to show you what he's calling the as evidence um, no 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 not that one this one so if you can see on screen, this is what he claims to be the evidence saying that he's exposing every lie. He says exposing the lies will ex expose every lie one by one. So where is it? Here. Oh, shit. Uh, come on. Okay, so here on where he says he's exposing, he says we'll expose lie one by one. He says... Uh, when I said he's quoted somewhere where I said I have been locked out of his website, then he's put my email there and showing has access to the following website, and it shows I have access to the website. But what is not telling people I have access to the website as a student, I don't have access to the website as the teacher or as the person who created the course. I don't know who are the students, I don't know the people who have signed up i don't know i can't tell let me try and, and and add this he says i have access he's saying so he's put that screenshot so that people oh sorry so no 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 no. this is the page i'm trying to increase 
Uh, here we go. Okay, I hope it's clear on screen. Here, he's quoted where he said, I have been locked from the website, and then he showed a screenshot showing his access uh, to the following apprentice courses. He's put it, he's put my email, but he's not telling people, I only have access to the course like any other student. I don't have access to the course as the person who created the course. I don't know the people who have signed up for the course or the people who are signing up for the course. So let him make it clear. I don't have access. I don't have admin access. I have access like any other student who would sign up to the course. Okay. Next, he goes to put, uh, we've seen that some of our supporter, uh, of our support has switched to say Kaila has stolen her money from the website. This is not possible as the course is not on sale since the dispute started and there's no way anyone can purchase it. We'll keep the contract active so clients see the start uh, for what? for want to be further accused. So he's put here, can he share the terms of the contract? If he says so, can he share the terms of contract? There's no terms on this place where he's claiming. There's no terms, there's no stipulated terms. And when I clicked it, the link he gave me to click, didn't even have this. It just came at, at just uh, in a certain link and he was rushing me because at that time he was in a hurry. You know, he needs to make money to buy his mansion in uh, his apartment in some waterfront properties in Uganda. I don't know, in Entebbe. And of course, he's scamming people. The fact that he put his 202 course, he put it as a module. He's put it as if I'm offering the 202 course. He's put it as part 10. Actually, I can log into the website right now. Uh, let me log into the website uh, right now. I'm not able to access the course as the teacher. I don't have admin access. And on, on module 10, he's added that to make it look like I'm still offering that. Yet I don't. Here, let me just log in and show you. So here we go. Let me remove this. I'll, I'll bring it back to the screen. Let me uh, stop screen. Let me share the screen so that you can see. Share screen. Uh, calls. OK. OK, cool. Here it is. Here's the website. When you open the website, Learn Kiswahili, this is what it shows you. Learn 101, which I have access as a student and not admin access to the course. As you can see, it shows students and in progress. It shows in progress because I was going through the course and correcting the errors and sending him, noting him, telling him on this module, on this, we need to correct this and this and this. That's why it shows it's in progress. This is what he's calling premium content. This is the scam he's doing. And this one is the one that is charging people $400. This is the scam new course he's created to scam people. So this is the course I created. Uh, so when you click, because I have access, you cannot have access to it because it's blocked it and he's only promoting it 202. So when you check it as Kiswahili 101 and you go to the modules, when you go to the mo last module that is added here, uh he's added here private tuition purchase when you click on it he's not even indicated that i'm not the one who's offering the course so someone can go buy lesson credit he says yeah you can purchase lessons and don't forget to enter the special members discount shown above to save more so when you go to buy this course this is what he's coming you with He's put it so that when you click on it, for those ones who had signed to my first course, you'll click on it, it will redirect you, you know, to go and buy, to go and buy the other course that he's selling at $400. So he's, you can think, so people might think that I'm the one who's still offering the private lessons. Then you'll find that I'm not the one who's offering the private lessons that he's claiming. Okay, someone has actually put some contact here. The, the orphanage is come in Mombasa. Kellen has put these details here. For those who need to contact, 
the pastor in Mombasa to confirm, Pastor Jeremiah, the link link to video on Nuru. As you can see, Kellen has shared. So I'm not the first person this guy is coming. I'm not the first person is coming. You can see these are details of another person uh, saying how he's come to an orphanage in Mombasa. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't have access. Yes, uh, Patrick Headley's karma. Yes, Patrick Headley's has karma. You can be deported in the U.S. if you are not naturalized, if you're convicted with serious crimes such as scam against elderly persons. He, he, he served that time, I think. He mentioned to me at certain point after, like, uh, but I was, he was like, oh, he was falsely accused. I don't know what it was, but he served that time in the U.S. jail. So he's not a genuine person. Anyway, let's continue. Mm. Uh, my, I don't have access. You say your advice is to shut it down, protect your brand and subscriber, relaunch later. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the material. I don't want him to use my image and my material to make money out of it. Would never pay for an online product for $100. Uh, just not try what he has done to you and others. Just create a new one for yourself and send your PayPal to get paid. I've learned my lesson. I'll take time. Does he speak to Swahili? No, he doesn't. <clears throat> doesn't say he's coming, but doesn't say he's coming, but shows more proof. Okay, here's more proof to to the pastor in Mombasa. I don't know what he did to the pastor. So I don't know. He took the website. I don't understand. Uh He's using African Tigress picture for fake course, which is 400. Uh, I think you should launch a new one. I, it will take time to create something and build a new one. So I'll definitely work on that. <clears throat> OK, so let me continue with the conversation. Uh, I've shown you. So when you go to the site, that's what is coming. He's coming you. If you already signed into the course, don't click on that private lessons. He's gonna scam you. I'm not offering the private lessons. He's scamming you. Okay, so uh, let me let me share the other screen. Mm, share screen. A Chrome tab. Mm, is it this one? This one. No, not that one. Okay, you can still scroll here. Stop screen, share screen. Mm. Yeah, I think this is the screen. I hope you can see. Why is it not accepting? Share screen. Okay, so yeah, his screen. Uh, Here's the screen will continue. He says, Phil Scott is a liar. Phil Scott, with whom I've, I've never had business dealing, posted this unfounded claim on his website. This pro proof provides documented legal proof for his libelious claim. He says, we are posting a video made and her experience with Skama Patrick convinced African Tigress that is the person to help put the Xoeli course after Tigress. Uh, hard work, this lockdown mail locked her out of the course. He's also keeping customers' money. Please don't sign up for the course. I don't see any lie there. Any lie there. Phil Scott claims to run a business, so I remind him the definition of a customer. A customer who buys goods and services from a shop or business. Okay, I don't want to get into that, but he's, he's definitely trying to say, oh, Pat, uh, Phil lied. Oh, he's actually changed. That was not even existing. This is a new thing. He's changed the screen. I'm glad I took, because this one is different. I didn't see it. But I'll go with the first document that he wrote, because I took screenshots of it. This one, he's edited the site. OK, he continues to share screenshots and emails. He says he shares word by word of the email and all that. But what Patrick has shared on the emails when you go to the site, those are things that came after I told him, no, we cannot do this, when I realized that he was actually scamming me. Our earlier conversations on WhatsApp 
and Patreon, I have all those messages. He's not willing to share that because he knows, he knows that is the truth. So after I had, after actually immediately after the launch, when I told him I could no longer work, uh, I could no longer, I could no longer, I could, I cannot continue until we talk. And he told me we are going to talk on Monday. And I told him, while I, I told him, let's not push it further because we need to correct the site for the students uh, because of the existing errors. He never talked to me. He ignored until that, that time when he called me when I was in Tanzania and told me that, um, and told me that he's got a, a, a new teacher. So all the information that he shared on the email was proof of evidence and all that. All that information. Immediately after I confronted him with what he had done, he switched because we used to chat on WhatsApp. He switched and now started sending emails, trying to put them in a particular manner to look as if we had some sort of agreement some sort of agreement that favors him that I'd contracted his company and all that. He switched, he stopped sending on messages because I actually, at that moment, I knew what he was up to. I knew the moment he switched from WhatsApp chat to email, I knew what he was up to. I knew he was trying to do it to protect himself legally and all that. I knew immediately, I knew that was what he was doing. Anyway, let me just try and see the messages because I see he's changed the screenshot, so let me see. Uh, he writes on 5th February. February, he says, absolute proof of document. He said, hi, Marceline. Um, it may have been an intention of but setting the course intro video to private and advantly stop it from showing on the site. It's with deep regret that after, such, after much deliberation, I have to conclude that the best way forward for an amicable solution is to seize all further promotion of the course on the site. As there is an issue with what you believe you should have gained from the initial sales, please let me know the amount you require. I recognize I may have said some things out of character, and for that, I apologize. I'll continue to maintain uh, the course and attend any issues. Uh, the current members have if there's anything that you believe should be considered for a clean break let me know i wish you all success so when i noticed when i learned that patrick had introduced a new teacher and they were doing all uh, another course and all that when i learned that i was like i'm not no longer going to promote the course because i had those videos on my website and i told him no there's absolutely no you're going to introduce a new teacher and I'm, i've been promoting the course i mean everybody Everybody, everybody knows that landkiswahili.com was my site. I've marketed it. I refused, I, I, re, I removed the, all the videos that were promoting it. That's when he sent me this email. And he was trying to tell me he has a lot of years of experience. Uh, uh, in, he has a lot of years of experience. Um, I, I'm self-sabotaging myself and things like that. He said a lot of things and even uh, kind of very condescending and, you know, insulting me. That's why he said he might have said some things out of character. He was very condescending and insulting. I actually have all that conversation, all the uh, that phone conversation, we had it, the audio. It's very long. It was a long conversation. I have it recorded. I have I recorded the conversation. I have it. Uh uh I, I i have all that so he's now saying that he wants to to close the course and he'll continue using the site if he's closing no other course should be promoted on learnkiswahili.com apart from the learn kiswahili 101 which i created he cannot use my efforts to promote his new course and his new business he didn't pay me for that and he says as there is an issue believe you should have gained from the initial source please let me know so he's telling me and even insinuated in a text message insinuated that he wanted to give me some money he was to give me some money to buy me out and the money he was to give me was from the launch date the launch date we made a couple of signups a couple of people signed up so he, he thought think, this man is stupid to think that i'm stupid so he thinks that I'm going to tell him, oh, I want this amount of money. Then once he gives me that amount of money, he'll have evidence that, oh, she claimed she wanted this amount of money. I've given her. So now he has absolute control to the material. It doesn't make sense. I'm not stupid like that. He must be so stupid to think I'm stupid. Um, 
uh, relax, read our comments, and discuss your story with us. That's why we are live. I'm reading all the is reply, and then I'm going to read all the comments. Uh, most YouTubers work alone, which I think you need to do African Tigress. After all, you are doing fine on your own. Yes, I think so. That's the perfect. We all, we have all had to learn that lesson, trusting and waiting to help um, to help others. I don't like the exploitation of your skill and them devalue your work. Uh, report to fishing.government.uk, all right? Uh, he needs serious hacker to bring him down. Uh, this should be a focus. File your complaint. Uh, they will investigate, take it down. I'm going to read all the comments. I'm about to finish reading all these things that he's trying to. So for anyone who's reading that and thinking what is, he's very tactic. I don't know if it's, oh, scared. scared. I've forgotten the best time to use, but he's provided something to try to make him look like a saint. So the last part, which is the last part of the screenshot, if you want, you can go and read all this later in case you had not read it and come and watch this video because I was just trying to dispel everything is written here because it's all a lie. And uh, he keeps editing it, so you might not get the same information because this, this one is edited. It's not the first he wrote. So he says... Another email he says, which is proof of evidence, according to say to him, he says, I'm going to try one last time to get through you. Let me tell you a true story. A boat was wrecked on the island, and the people decided to set up a home in the island. There was plenty of trees and firewood, and they, uh, and they could find food. They cut down all the trees and firewood and to build shelters. However, they did not plant the new ones, so eventually there was no more trees. You can guess the outcome. I'm asking you to look inside yourself and your limitations. It's limitations that we all have. What you are doing is great, but it, it has diminishing rate of return and will come to the point the returns are zero. I encourage you to seek someone who understands digital marketing strategies who actively deploying them. Ask them about long-term organic traffic campaign, display advertising, ask about social media marketing, ask about retargeting uh, campaigns, ask about marketing funnels, ask about metrics and monitoring. They are all paid strategies to build long-term viable business. They are not cheap to implement, but they work and importantly, you can monitor what you spend on the measures against returns. You apparently feel aggravated that because you don't know what you don't know. I'm certain in time you'll come to realize you got to deal, you got the deal of the century if you give yourself a, a chance. So that's the, the, the last thing he posted. And of course, you know what he's trying to do that, trying to make it look like he knows everything. And I don't know anything as he's always done it since the time I confronted him. And lastly, he says, uh, I think that's it. He says, coming soon, more documents to refute claims, uh, wherever. And he says, my daughter, dad, you don't need to prove anything to anyone. We know who you are. And you know what? We know. <laughs> I mean, your, your daughter is more likely to defend you. You're the father. I mean, which child, who, who, whose, child, mom, whose child will not defend the father? But it's unfortunate that the father, he thinks he knows, uh, she thinks she knows is a scam. Your father is a scam. I have evidence to show that evidence and screenshots and messages not that I've not shared. Your father is a scam. He's scammed me out of my cause. Oh, so he shares here the full paid earnings and paid earnings and all that, refunded earnings. He said the amount of money he sent me. Yes, this is what I received. What about uh, uh, what about what he earned? He's not, he's not shown what he's earned to show that he actually took higher uh, higher he took 60 and lied to me he lied to me there are 28 6, 28 customers and all that he shares all the details and all that he's not shared this what he took he's not shared what he took so let's <clears throat> so let me now uh let me now read your comments if you have any question uh were you able to get your land kiss or healing course unfortunately no uh uh, take grace this guy has beaten you he owned the business now he can hire any teacher you open his eye he'll not succeed no scammer no one scams me <laughs> and go scot free i think he was telling he has 40 years experience as a scammer i think so uh there are rules that youtubers must abide by uh will what will what will your lawyers do uh we uh we're working on something uh in kenya we have to do something in kenya uganda and the uk so 
Maybe Clash Action Suite, those who paid and received nothing, but Tigress do your solo. Uh, the lawyers will do nothing except earn a lot of money. Well, we'll see about that. Anyone who wants to tell you how great they are instead of other people telling you about your greatness, it's a warning. Yes, I think so. That's why all the time he keeps on claiming. That's why he keeps on claiming about his 40 years experience. Before someone, both parties must read the full argument before signing, even before signing online. He tricked Tigress to click a link that showed no agreement documents. That's what he did. Yeah, that's what he did. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask. I'll share. I'll do probably another video, but I really, I do want this kind of energy. Like, this thing has been bothered. Like, I, I'm traveling. I'm just trying to focus on what I'm doing and all that. I didn't want in between my uh, experiences, traveling, sharing videos, I didn't want all these to come in between. Uh, shut down your site and start a new one up. Any advice you need to ask trustworthy YouTubers? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have access to the site. Uh, this is why I hate about the diaspora. All the bad actors are going to Africa to scam the innocent. I can't say everyone is a scam, but I think we need to watch our backs. Not all skin folk are kin folk. Um, Patrick cannot speak Kiswahili, but have a domain to teach Kiswahili and can hire a teacher thanks to African Tigress and her charitable work. Any question, any question, or if I sent him a link to join the stream, he didn't. Of course, he can't. But I know, Patrick, you're watching this. You know what a low life you are. You know you're the most disgusting and despicable human being ever. Um. I got a smoke for any folk. Uh, we shouldn't blame our sister, but spread the word about this. Okay. He's promoting to us now. Yes, apparently. He's saying we are learning Kiswahili. So if you're getting those emails, if you subscribe, feel free to unsubscribe from those emails. I'm not the one. He said he's offering relocation opportunities to Africa when he is in the UK and has not even managed to relocate himself. So how are you going to trust someone who's not even been able to relocate himself successfully without attempting to scam to Africa? He's offering people want to move, visit, or whatever to Africa. Uh, he's been sending people, people emails. If you watch the previous video, you're able to see. So yeah, he's saying he's offering to us to Uganda, Kenya, Jamaica, Senegal, and I don't know which place. For those of us who are subscribed, who had signed up, Uh, is work is he working alone does he have a network of people uh, do we know his partners in uganda i don't know i don't know he's working alone or does he have a network of people who help him i'm not very sure but even the website building he didn't he can't code so he used website building tools. So it's not like he can code and whatever. No, he used website building tools. If you have any question, you can ask before we end the stream. Or if you want to call in in relation to the same, I've dropped the link in the comment. Feel free to call in. Tigress settled out of court. I tried that. Is not is not uh, work. Is not how can I put it? I've tried that, but it's not worked because I tried to for three months. I tried reaching to him. It's not it's not working. Yeah. So what are, what are those messages he's sending people telling them to us? So let me see. The messages he's sending people telling them we are offering now tours and all that. Some people thought I was the one who was offering the tours, but it's not me. Or, it's this camera. Any questions? 
use your power uh, of fellow YouTubers to denounce Patrick. Uh, I'm not getting that email. He's sending, he's sending to people some emails telling them about tours and things like that, which I'm not offering. uh what about what about youtube did you report this come to them he does not have youtube he's using it's the website he's using he does not have a youtube channel exposure is how such people are beating wait waiting for waiting to watch part three trust must be and kindly hit the thumbs up as you join the live stream report patrick hardly to fishing.gov.uk okay i'll i'll check that let me i'll check that jackie uh there's some emails there's some emails let me do okay uh the scam has been spreading himself everywhere it's suspected he used other youtubers names and pictures asking for money for an orphanage wow wow how does he have his own site he i'm the one who marketed the land kiswahili so he bought the domain does he have a husband or anything we can contact them i don't know what you mean patrick hardly is a man so i don't know if he has a husband maybe but let me read let me read the message. The message has been sending people telling them that he's offering tours. If you're interested in tours or you select what, like how does he how does he feel benefiting from my work? Uh okay. Uh social. Hello. 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 The new teacher is a woman. Yeah, I talked to the new teacher and I told her and I explained to her. She's seen the videos and all that. For me, I told her. Apparently, you see the same tactic he used to approach me. Because I talked to the new teacher, the same tactic he used, he came in as a student, someone who's interested in learning Kiswahili. I asked the new teacher, how did you get to know Patrick? This he apparently that's the same tactic he went. And Patrick, Patrick has not created anything and is also taking 60%. And the new teacher has also created the new actually the teacher, the new teacher had a course. So Patrick, that's what he does. And actually, one thing I forgot to note, he's very, I don't know. Uh, what's the term that word has really disappeared from my head english is not my language but this person who is like i don't know if it's a vulture watching and timing and you know waiting to pounce at a time that he deems fit because apparently when so someone has mentioned uh uh Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, I see what you're saying, uh, Ellie. So, apparently, Patrick, when uh, in 2019, when uh, uh, World Views organized a tour to Kenya, when they came, uh, a, a tour to Kenya, they had a tour to Kenya in partnership with Africa Diaspora News Channel. Um, like africa was africa diaspora news channel was promoting the tour to kenya so apparently patrick is the only person i think from the uk who joined to who signed to join the trip so he knows how to scan is it scanning like he's just you know someone who's like okay there's potential here there's potential here and here so apparently he was there i met with the team i met with the, some of the people who came uh with the uh, with the world views to kenya i met some of the people and all this time when creating the course, Patrick never, not even once, never did he mention that he was part of the group. Never did he mention that he had ever, I asked him if he's ever been to 
to Africa. I only remember he mentioned Tanzania and Uganda. He never mentioned Kenya. Apparently, he was there. He probably saw me, but he never mentioned to me that he was actually with the team and he was actually in Kenya. I never saw him. But I guess he saw me and he thought like, okay, so he was observing. And I think from there, that's when he knew. And on mm -hmm. Africa Day, he sent me a message for a webinar and things like that. So he's this kind of person who uses association. So he'll try to show like, you know, I know these. Uh, he'll always mention these big, big, big people. Oh, I've got contact to these. Oh, I'm going to be doing this with Dr. Rikana. I'm going to be interviewing. I'll be doing this and that. So he's that kind of person. So he was like, you know, it, it, he was spying. <laughs> he was spying on me for sure. Like, I can't believe that he was in Kenya. He never said anything. He never mentioned to me. When I asked him, he only mentioned Tanzania and Uganda. Uh, I know, right? I can't believe the amount of time people reported him and he still pop up. I think the best thing, if you sign for the course, feel free to ask for your refund. And if you send in less than 14 days ago, you said 100% guarantee money back, feel free. Especially for the new course, if it's less than 14 days or something, you said you get your 100% your money back, feel free, get your money back. Uh, can it be possible for the site to be collapsed? That would be good, for real. Uh, um, uh, for those who have been... It's easy get it's easy to get into the cycles. That's what it does. Uh, you have to be careful with people like that. Uh, obviously, the guy is using your picture to scam uh, people. That's what he did. That's what he did. That's how you go to sign up people and create a new course and all that. Create a new course and lie to people that I'm the one offering it. Hello. Hello. Can you hear speak, me? Speak up kindly. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Long time. I've, yeah? uh, I've watched the first video regarding uh, this guy, the one who has uh, scammed you. And we can't I, hear you. Oh, my, maybe my microphone has a problem. Okay, maybe you'll need to work on that and then call again. Okay. Okay. Please stay away from wrong people. Yes, looks like the money lost is not that big. Consider it a loss. Start over, protect your African Tigress brand, secure a new domain. Okay, short time. Uh, it's not that much, but I don't want him to use my material to make money because it's my effort my image my videos my i don't want him to use any of that to make money i don't want him to use any of that anywhere whether he creates a new platform or whatever he should not use my material to make money you say going forward you've learned a lesson god will fight for you don't worry let him don't worry, don't let him kill your dreams. He cannot kill my dreams. Uh, report him to police in Kenya, Uganda, ETC. Uh-huh. Uh, if you have any question, if you have any question, feel free. Unfortunately, I was not able to see all comments as they were coming in initially because I was just trying to respond to that. Mm. <laughs> that's me yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta report him there in there and in Uganda where he claims to do real estate sure Anointed prayer, someone needs to let her know. She will also be scammed. 
doesn't appear that the new teacher is a part of the scam. She is an innocent. I've informed her. I've actually told her. I told her. I told her. I told her. I told her everything. So if she decides to continue, that's up to her. Because I've informed her. I've told her. She knows everything that's going on. I've had the conversation with her. She knows everything that's going on. So unless she's not being honest, I don't know. Because I've already told her everything and i told her it's not a good idea because i spent my effort time and everything to market and promote that so she knows it so if she continues that's up to her so it means she's also not genuine because she knows everything i have let our partners in uganda know and share this link why you fraud with innocent people you don't have humanity Anointed prayers, I spoke to the new teacher, I told her everything that's happening, and I told her it's not right that I promote and do everything on the course, and uh, this Patrick takes and brings a new teacher and brings you along, because he's bringing you along as an accomplice. I told her maybe if she has people who've already signed up, she should only do that, because she knows what's happening. She can, she should maybe, depending on how that goes, I don't know if the people who signed up still want to continue with the course or not. Um, if, she ha if he has all your material on his server, there's very little you can do. He will always copy and put it uh, on another server, but best method to use is the power of your fellow YouTubers to shut him. Uh, content creators are using expose and scammers clickbait. Probably you are one of the scammers or you're his agent. Uh, uh patrick obviously he's watching i know he's watching i sent him the link and even right now when we were reading the messages he was online he was online he's seen it he's seen the link he knows he's seen it he just doesn't want to he doesn't want to you know call in i'm sure he's watching He cannot call him in because he's a scammer. It's not like I'm accusing him and I'm not giving him an opportunity to explain. He says we, we, he was not given right of reply. Since yesterday, I've contacted him, telling him we can do this on a live stream. But he cannot call in. He can't. Okay, I cannot be able to catch up with comments that were left in the beginning. So I think if anyone, sorry. Uh, I'm confused about you owning your own domain. How did you do it? AfricanTigress.com, I'm the one who bought it. AfricanTigress.com, I'm the one who bought it. But AlanKiswahili.com, he's the one who bought it. He bought the domain because he said he, was, he would take care of the website building and all that, and I would create the material. He will take care of that. He didn't. He didn't create them and edit and do all that, which he didn't do. I had to also do the edit. Uh the new teacher is in Africa or the UK? The new teacher is in Africa and up in Kenya, by the way. God is watching. Please, all of you, become angel to those who act like devils. Very, very sad. Uh, hey, Purity Makio. 
Okay, I think that's it. So let me see if uh, your audio has improved. We are concluding this. Uh, soon people will start calling. Naki Tura, what's your problem? If you don't understand something, you can just, you know, you don't have to be here. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. Long time. Uh, uh -huh. You know why I'm covering you in the camera? Because I'm a company man. I'm not just a person. We can't hear you unless you speak up. Um, you know, I about this uh, thing, I think maybe the guy is uh, is just a scammer. He's mm -hmm. just scamming people and uh, make money on people and then move on. I think that's what he's doing. It's uh, mm -hmm. ridiculous mm -hmm. to do that ridiculous i checked the website when in the first video i it was uh, i don't know last week you mentioned uh, the domain then i check it learn uh, kiswahili i didn't know it i saw it on your video in the previous video and then i check it i i saw everything there it's uh, ridiculous if you knew uh, okay i don't know how to build uh, everything on the website but if you knew that it should be like that, we could do it. Because I, you know, that I'm putting website on also online. But most of them I'm using a script. Uh, unfortunately, script is... we are straining to hear you people. Nobody can hear you. I think my microphone is a problem. No, you just need to raise your voice. Really? Yeah, someone is saying, are you in chat? You are whispering. Uh, no, I'm not uh, whispering. I'll try to put the microphone near my my mouth. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I think the guy is just uh, scamming people, just to make money on, on people and just move on. That's what he's doing, maybe. It's uh, ridiculous. You know, if you knew that it would be like that, you could, we could even uh, do it together. I'm, I have a job. I have a regular job. I make more money than maybe most of the diaspora in UK, United States, month, every month. I make more money than maybe everyone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not a specialist in uh, building websites. I've learned it myself, you know. So the website I'm putting on, I do it myself when I have time. Mm -hmm. My specialist is uh, the airline industry. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. I hear you. But uh, we're not talking about if I knew, like, I mean, what's happened has already happened. So yeah. right now we're looking at the way forward, not at what happened. But thank you for your contribution, though. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Power is gone. Hey, short time. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah. What about you? Yes. Good, good. I'm, I'm calling. I'm calling from California, and um, you know there there are things you can do um, if he has access to your server. Um, you know, there's very very little you can do in terms of if he has all your material, um, but you uh -huh. can you can copy the information. Um, I think you have it. You have his information. Your your information local on your your computer, right? You have all your videos your content, all of that stuff, right? No. Okay. He has all that. And you don't have a copy? No. I don't, because how we were working and the editing, I think he, like, something he had already premeditated. So how we were working and even the editing, he would do his screen and then we use... Uh, either StreamYard or uh, Microsoft Teams. So to edit from his end. So he has the material and then we, 
editing i'm on this side is on the other side using microsoft teams i'm like cut here cut here do this here put this here put this here things like that okay how do you feel about I don't okay i can start over i can create something else yes i can but i don't want him to use my material any further i'm not comfortable right. him using my material any further right so what i was suggesting is that you use your fellow youtubers like watamaya or o'shea or vanessa to kind of broadcast what's going on with the scamming. And that will, uh, you know, pretty much alert the community of what's going on. And that can protect your brand. Okay. Okay, I'll see, I'll see, I'll, I'll see what you can do. And so you said that you own the, the uh, swa learnswahili.com, is that your domain? Yeah, that's the domain. So, okay. So, how we were building this? That uh, I'm I'm the one who suggested it, but because he was the one handling the building the website and all that, so that was his contribution to the partnership. Okay. So, who owns when you went he to has, the? Okay. I don't. Yeah, he has it because he's the one who bought it. Okay, so there's nothing you can do about that since he owns it. Yeah, I so, can't but, do anything about it. But what you can do is you can go in and file for another similar domain, right? Like learnswahili.com. Yeah. Learn there's various uh, other domains that you can buy uh, mm -hmm. similar to Learn Swahili, and you, mm -hmm. can force, you can force them out. But you would have to replicate all of your material all over again um mm -hmm. and, and you know you would build out the site you would own it you would own the server and the admin rights and everything like that and don't make mm -hmm. the mistake of not having that ownership right and then yeah. again if you want to just if you really believe in this brand and this learn swahili.com um my suggestion is you start over again and you add you use your fellow my my advice is that you start over again right with another domain mm -hmm. that's similar to, similar to mm -hmm. learnswahili.com and you use your fellow youtuber youtubers to brett to advertise and to brand out again right and then you can force them out based on just the advertising alone you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah that is the logical approach that i would take to protect your brand, your 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 most expensive and most important brand is African Tigress. Yeah. Right. So so people are following you. You have thousands of people following you on African Tigress. Right. In fact, in fact, I'm so glad because initially that's where he wanted us to put the course. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I, I told him, no, we cannot use that one because that's africantigress.com. I wanted to use it for other products and other services, other information. So I'm just so, I don't know what it would, I, I, it, I would go crazy if you took africantigress.com. I'm so glad I refused it because he wanted us to use that one. I told him, no. Right. And that's and and what you have to do now, because I, I know he's listening and I know that uh, uh, he's trying to figure out what he can do to further damage you or steal from you. So you have to make sure that your domain is protected. So go in and go into your registry, look up your domain, and make sure that you have that African Tigress brand protected for years, right? So pay for it for years to come, so that he cannot go. It's paid for a long time, and I keep it's like auto renewal. Good, good. That's the, that's the most important thing you can do at this point. So, as long as you have that brand, you can still leverage anything around learning Swahili or learning any other type of language around the African Tigris brand. So, mm -hmm. 
um, again, I'll repeat it. Um, use your fellow YouTubers because you have those contacts with Watamaya, with Vanessa Camby, with O'Shea mm -hmm. Duke Jackson to help you protect your brand and to help send out the word that this Patrick guy is no good. And, you know, of course, uh, he's stealing your information, right? So mm -hmm. that is the, the best way you can go about doing it right now because they're, 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 these are tough laws. The laws have not, this is a very new territory and the laws have not been specified or have not been um, written to protect, you know, intellectual property around the internet. So this is the wild, wild west um, and anything goes right now. So that's my su suggestion for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank so you so much. Free. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to ping me if you have any other questions or or whatnot. You know, we do a lot of, uh, you know, here in the United States, in California, Silicon Valley. This is where all of this stuff pretty much originated. And there are ways that you, I can, I can tell you other ways you can protect yourself, but I don't want to give him any ideas online right now because this is a public forum. Okay, so. you can drop me. You can drop me an email. Sure. Okay. All right. Good luck. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, African Tigress, keep going, you're a gem, keep doing what you're doing. She don't have material except the conversation as evidence. Yes, I like your time, love you. Uh, you are in Norway now. Kinshasa is such a beautiful city. We are falling in love with Mongo and the little we've seen so far. Okay, so I think I'll be ending the live stream in the next nine minutes if you have any questions so that I don't stay here for too long because I'll still be doing another part of this video and power just went out before my laptop goes off. Mm. Um. If there's no other questions, I think I'm going to end the stream right now. Yeah, it's definitely something that cannot stop me. And uh, but I just have to put information out there. And at least people get to know because a lot of people were reaching out to me asking me about, I don't know, trips, investment and all those things. But I'm not the one who was offering that. So uh, at least it's important that people know I'm not offering any of those trips that he was sending messages telling you about, I don't know, trips, about investment opportunities. So I said that in case you sign up and you get scammed, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you are actually aware that I'm not behind it. And if you signed up for the course and you need your refund, feel free to just ask for a refund. <coughs> he says, we are carrying out spring. This is the message you are sending people. We are carrying out spring cleaning exercise to provide you with information that will best serve your needs. No one likes cluttered mailbox. So to help us, as, so help us to help you. You may already know we can connect you with our international travel partner who organizes incredible travel experience worldwide to places such as Senegal, Jamaica, Kenya, UK, Bali, Europe, and many more places. I don't know. I've never, uh, like, I've never even been a person who's promoting trips to Europe or wherever. So you clearly that can tell you I'm not behind it, and this person could more likely be scamming you. Then he says, or could it be that you want to join a growing list of entrepreneurs looking for business opportunities on the African continent? You should be scared. I mean, <laughs> this person offering you joining a group of entrepreneurs looking for business opportunities in Africa. Hope is not looking at recruiting more people to scam. Or maybe you are looking to establish a registered business presence on the continent. Don't even try. 
well, many people now seeking to relocate to the continent, you may want to find out about property purchase opportunities. This case is going to scam you all your pennies and start claiming, I don't know, you see the way he's changed and he's saying there was a contract, there was this, there was this, so be very careful. Join our members who are learning an African language, that's the course. Whatever your choice, we want to send you what's important to you. It would be it would be sad to see you go, but if you have if the time is not right for you right now and you would prefer not to receive any more emails, you can unsubscribe. So kindly, if you, you are, just click that unsubscribe button. Please make your selection now. Take um, Taking a line from Spice Girls, tell us what you really want. So he puts that, taking a line from Spice Girls, tell us what you really want. And then, of course, he puts it very bold, highlights it in bold and says, yes, I want to register my preference. And then he puts it very small to unsubscribe. And then he's like, if you are not a member, it's a great time to start learning Swahili. And he sends that. And, you know, anyway, so thanks to everybody who's joined. Uh, miss your show. Hope the family is fine in Barbados. What uh, makes up jamaica yeah there's coming tigress you are forced to be reckoned with and this scammer will get everything he deserves he has not been exposed to the world through your videos about him uh scammer alert scammer scammer okay thanks to everyone who's who joined the stream i appreciate your time thank you for listening thank you for always supporting me i truly appreciate if i knew this was how it was going to end i would not have even exposed you to that so i'm really sorry i'm really sorry i i i, I really apologize to everyone who believes in me and uh got themselves in the mixture especially those who signed up for this uh who signed up for the course if you need a refund Kindly write to him. Write to him right on the site. Ask for a refund. You need your money back. Please do so. Mm -hmm. Feel free to ask for your money. And uh, yeah, so in case of anything, I'll try to do another video. I just don't like, um, I don't like this coming in between my travels, but in a few weeks' time, I'll be in Kenya. Probably during that time, I'll be able to do something about it. So thank you so much, and have a wonderful time wherever you are watching me. Oh, thank you so much, short time, for the super chat. Uh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. So uh, thank you so much, and wherever you are watching me uh, across the world, I truly, truly appreciate your support. Yes, yes, we love you, Tigress. This is just a bump in the road on your life. Sure. Have a good rest. Yeah, be happy. Yes, um, they live, I said 2021. Even before I knew this would turn out, I said 2021 is a year of positive vibes and nothing is going to stop me from focusing on positive energy and positive vibes. So despite the challenges and everything comes on my way, I will always stay positive. All right, so thank you so much and have a lovely time. It's midnight. No, it's actually 10 p.m. here, midnight in Kenya. Okay. Uh... Okay, so good night.